Hey guys, welcome back to Whip Jams. This is your host, Nadim Mazam. We're on our way to pick up today's artist, Mirror Monster. They're an electro synth pop duo based in Southeast Michigan. I'm super excited to have these guys on the show today, so let's go pick them up. The problem with electronic music that I have is it's so, the options are endless. Mm, yeah. It's that rabbit hole. I don't like having so many choices. Right. <laughs> don't like choices. The first thing I want to ask you guys about, you guys have an awesome origin story. I've heard it, but I want you guys to tell our viewers how you met and how Mirror Monster came to exist. For sure. Awesome. David, you want to start? Sure, yeah. Uh, Michael and I went to college together, um, and we actually played in a, a funk band called Funkaholics Anonymous. Yeah, we would do like um, 
basically funk versions of jazz tunes and pop tunes. Yeah, we, we played in that for a couple of years together, and then after graduation, kind of uh, went off what we thought was separate places. Turns out we both moved to Ann Arbor, and happened to be walking down the street one day, uh, going to work, and saw Michael. And it turns out he literally worked the, a floor above me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> in the same building. In the same, in the same, in the same, same yeah. town. Yeah. And, and was there any, like, were you guys still in touch? Were you still friends? Or, like, like I mean, not. I mean, still know. friends, but, like, I, I had college. no idea he had moved to Ann Arbor. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> So then, so Funkaholics Anonymous, that's a very different vibe than what you guys are doing <laughs> True. now, right? Like, or it sounds like it. Oh, yes. Yeah. How, so oh, absolutely. Do you guys have a really unique sound? Like, to me, it pulls on a lot of this, like, interesting synth pop, and it's experimental, but it really has that pop sensibility, and I think that's a rare thing to be able to capture. Both Michael and I really, really like a lot of different kinds of electronic music. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, at least for me personally, I started off playing guitar, and played in bands for years in high school and sort of college. There's actually a class Michael and I took together on uh, composing electronic music. Hmm. That, that was sort of a turning point for me where suddenly everything had to be about making electronic music and totally. playing instruments and synthesizers and kind of fell down the rabbit hole. Mm. Yeah, it's funny because that was a turning point for me too. Like I was there studying uh, orchestral composition because, yeah, I thought it was the 19th century still apparently. <laughs> um, but then taking that class, I realized that there's like a lot of crossover between the way that electronic music is produced and kind of written and how uh, an orchestra can be written for, right? Mm -hmm. Like all the different layers, the, the different palettes of color and sound that you can create um, with different combinations of instruments and the layers that you build. Yeah, I've always had that thought too, because when I was younger, I feel like, especially before electronic music became like the thing, yeah. Yeah. there was a lot more judgment towards it of like, oh, it's not making real music, they press the buttons on right, the computer. Right, totally. The problem with electronic music that I have is it's so, the options are endless. Mm, yeah. It's that rabbit hole. I don't like having so many choices. Right. <laughs> don't like choices.